I started a series off of a thought that I've had called Slouching Toward Gomorrah. The world and the United States is actually slouching ever so perceptibly toward a Gomorrah of consequences in its future. And it's something for us to understand in the light of not only all of the events of 2020, but more specifically, uh, the recent election in the United States. The Electoral College, as I speak here, has already now had its say and has selected a new president of the United States who will be sworn in on January 20th, 2021. Like recent elections, this one has left the United States bitterly divided, no more together than it was before or even uh, 20 years ago in its electoral situation. Uh, already there have been claims of changes that could be made that would alter the constitutional fundamental aspects of American governance with consequences for everyone. It's not a matter of Republican, Democrat, or actually who actually is in the office in one sense, except that policies do matter, uh, elections do have consequences. But as we look at what is taking place here in the United States of America, we certainly are facing the possibility of some radical fundamental changes going forward based on what has been said, based on the reports that are, are there. The United States and many other parts of the world, but America in particular, is facing an evil force in the world that wants to destroy our country and to destroy, frankly, all good things in humanity. That force is a spiritual force. It's not any one person or any one political party. It is a spiritual force. The United States has rejected God at its heart, trampling the commandments of God and the law of God. We have sinned by kicking God from the public square, by killing the unborn, and by crossing the line into the divine order of creation by claiming the rights of same-sex marriage and other matters that deny and defy the eternal, immutable word and law of God. America will reap the consequences of all of this. There will be a ruinous conclusion. The seeds are being sown for a whirlwind of confusion as we stand right now and look at what is taking place of decline and, yes, even ultimate captivity of a sort that God has in His design and in His plan. The end result is America and many other nations will lose their cherished freedoms for which they have long been famous and, all, and have long fought for as well. And we will have no one to blame but ourselves. The question for us all to consider in this slouch toward Gomorrah is will we heed God's warning? Beyond today, we're committed to laying that down, helping us all understand God's purpose, God's plan, God's word and His law and what we should do as we react to the times in which we live. That's BT Daily. Join us next time.